Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany Hansen. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make the aviator beanie for a baby between the ages of zero and three months old. All, this category is also known as the newborn category. I found this pattern on Pinterest from a website called Repeat Crafter Me. Sarah, the creator of this pattern and so many others, is amazing. She makes incredible crochet patterns. I included a link in the note section below to the instructions, the pattern on how to make this beanie. If you wanted to click it and print it off, follow along with me. That sounds great. I also included in the note section below all the materials that I'm going to be using so that you are ready to go. The Aviator Beanie is one of my top selling beanies at all of the events that I sell my crochet at. I also love to give the Aviator Beanie away as a baby gift because people absolutely love the imagination, the character, the whimsy of this beanie. It's different and the detail really seems to get people excited. If you are a photographer, I highly recommend that you have the aviator beanie in your arsenal of options because people do get excited about the aviator beanie. So let's go ahead and start making this. All right, to get started, we just make our slip knot. I do not include a long tail because each row is going to be slip stitched and then chain one we are closing each row so it'll be really easy to count i won't need i won't need a tail marker to be able to count my rows you're going to chain three one two three in the pattern if you're following along it says do a magic ring I'm not a big fan of the magic ring this does the exact same thing as the magic ring so you can choose to do either start you're going to put 11 double crochets in the first chain all right so yarn over insert into that first chain yarn over pull through yarn over pull through the first two yarn over pull through the last two and that's your first double crochet so we're going to do 11 of those so two three four, 11. Great. I'm just going to take that tail. I'm going to shove it down and then you're going to insert your crochet hook in the very top of that first double crochet. So find that double crochet, find the top and insert your hook right there. Yarn over, pull through, pull through and we have closed the circle perfect okay now let's go to row two chain two one two you're going to increase double crochet in each spot so if we had 11 here and we're putting two double crochet in each one we'll end with 22 double crochets so that's always smart to count have a number to count by that way you know that you're on track so one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. All right, and then again we'll slip stitch to close this row. Find the first double crochet, find the top, and insert your hook, pull through, and pull through a slip stitch. Perfect. You'll start to identify each row. It's pretty easy to see because each round will be separated by 
like a ring. So we just finished the two rounds. On to the third. So chain two. Now we're going to increase in the first. So we'll put two double crochets in the first space and then one double crochet. And that'll be the pattern. We'll put two and then one and then two and then one. We should end with 33 double crochets. So if you're counting, which hopefully you are, you should have 33 double crochets by the end of this round. So increase one, two, and then one. So that would be our third double crochet. Then increase one, two, and then one. So we should have one, two, three, four, five, six. So keep going. Increase. So seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. 12, 32, and 33. Perfect. Okay, reached the end. Find the first double crochet, the top, and slip stitch to close. Okay. Ready for row four, chain two. Now what we're going to do is increase in the first one. So we'll put two double crochets in the first space and then we'll put one double crochet, one double crochet, and then two double crochets and then one, one. And that's the pattern. It'll be increase and then one, one. Increase, one, one. So here we go. At the end, you should have 44 double crochets. So one, two, and then one, one. So there's four, one, two, three, four. Then increase. So five, six, and then seven, eight, forty, increase, forty one, forty two, one and one, forty three, and 44. Perfect. Go ahead and slip stitch top of the first double crochet through to close. Great. So we have one, two, three, four rounds right there. Beautiful. At this point, we are now going to chain two. Row five through row 10. So row five, row six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 are all going to be one double crochet in each spot. So go ahead and continue the work. You should end each row with 44 double crochets in each row. So make sure you count so you stay on track. But for row five, through row 10, you're just putting one double crochet in each space. Okay, so go ahead and work on that and I will meet you at the end of row 10. You got this. I'll see you soon. All right, great. We have finished row 10. 
Now we are ready for the ear flaps. So once you have slip stitched and closed your row 10, you're going to chain one and you're going to single crochet in the next 10 spaces. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, perfect. You're going to chain one and turn your work. So now you're going to be looking at the inside of the beanie out, okay? Decrease in the first two spaces. So this is what it'll look like. You'll insert your crochet hook into the first space. Yarn over and pull through. You'll insert your crochet hook into the second space. Yarn over, pull through. You'll have three loops on your crochet hook. Yarn over and pull through all three of those loops. You have now turned two spaces into one. So that's a decrease. Single crochet in the next six spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, ending with two spaces at the end. We are going to decrease again. So insert your crochet hook, yarn over, pull through. Insert your crochet hook into that last space, yarn over and pull through. Three loops, yarn over, pull through all three. Fabulous chain one and turn. Now we are looking at the outside of the beanie again. When you are on the outside of the beanie looking in, you're always, you're just single crocheting across. It's when you turn and you're looking at the inside of the beanie out, that's when you're going to be doing your decrease. That's the pattern that it goes off of. So we are just going to put one single crochet in each space across, a total of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, chain one, turning our work. Okay, decrease in the first two spaces. So, decrease. Gonna single crochet in the next four spots. One, two, three, four, and then decrease in the last two. Chain one, and turn. Single crochet across. One, two, three, four, five, six, chain one. Okay, we're on the inside, so we're going to decrease in the first. two, and decrease again in the last two, chain one, single crochet across, one, two, three, four, 
chain one and this is the last row for the ear flap and it's just two decreases so decrease in the first two and then decrease the last two and that's it now we grab our scissors cut just a tiny tail we don't need a big tail just enough where we can yarn over and pull it through that loop and pull tight that's all you want it for okay now let's do the second ear flap here's what you do when you're making the ear flap you're going to lay the beanie flat we want this ear flap to have we want this section to be a little bit more than this section the bigger side is going to be for the forehead and the back is going to be just for the back of the neck we're going to take our yarn and we're going to create our slip knot great we're going to attach from the outside of the beanie so it lines up right there okay that's where it seems to line up with the other ear flap so going to slip stitch so yarn over pull through and then I'm going to pull through my original loop on my crochet hook, leaving me with only one loop on my crochet hook. I'm going to take that tail and I'm going to lay it against my work and I'm going to crochet over it to make it disappear. It also strengthens the bond of this flap onto the beanie. I'm going to chain one. I'm going to single crochet in that first space that I slip stitched into and in 10 total spaces just like I had beginning start of the first ear flap so one let me pull that a little tight two three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great. Chain one. Turn the beanie around. Okay, so we're going to decrease in the first two and decrease in the last two, just like we did before. So decrease, single crochet in the next six, one, two, three, four, five, six decrease chain one okay single crochet across this row one two three four five six seven eight chain one turn this row we are on the inside of the beanie looking out so we're going to decrease in the first two decrease in the last two single crochets in the middle so decrease the first two then single crochet in the next four one 
two, three, four, and decrease, decrease, chain one, and turn, single crochet across, one, two, three, four, five, six, chain one, and turn. Okay, we're on the inside again, so we're going to decrease in the first two and the last two. So, decrease, single crochet in the next two, one, two, and decrease, chain one, turn, single crochet across, one, two, three, four, chain one, turn, and last row, decrease in the first two, decrease in the last two, decrease, and decrease. Great, grab your scissors, cut off that little flap, yarn over and pull through, knot. Awesome. Our ear flaps are done. Guess what? You are done with this taupe color of yarn. You can set it aside. Now we're going to crochet the border that is going to go along this outside edge of your aviator beanie. So if you're following along with my deviation on the note section below, I said that my deviation is I take simply soft bone colored yarn. I take two strands of it and this is what I use for my borders. So I will be crocheting with two different strands of the Simply Soft Bone color. If you are following along with the pattern, you can go ahead and use the, the Lion Brand Wool Ease Thick and Quick in Fisherman color. It's totally up to your preference on what you want to do. So go ahead and take, if you're following along with me and what I'm doing, you take your two yarn you're going to slip knot them together as if they were one. Okay, just like that. I like to, to attach at the back, right next to the right side, right there. So right at the base of where this ear flap attaches to the main part of the beanie. So insert your hook there and pull through, slip stitch through, okay, chain one. I'm literally pretending that these two strands of yarn are one, so you just keep them locked together. You're going to single crochet in each space around. So we'll sink crochet back in that same space we slip stitched into. Yarn through, yarn over and pull through. Have the tail against the work. We're going to crochet over it. So next space. Crochet all the way up to where this ear flap connects to the body of the beanie. Okay. 
Okay, when we're going along the ear flap, remember there were eight rows. So we're only going to have eight single crochets going up the side. This one counts as the first one because it's in line with that first row. So then two, three, next row, four, next row, five, next row, six, seven, and eight. And that last one that you just did, it's an edge piece. So go ahead and put or crochet twice. One, two, and then two in the next space also. One, two, and now you're set up to go down the other side. So that second crochet, that single crochet that we did would count as one for this, this level, this row. Then two. Okay. Three. Just pushing all of the yarn down that I want to crochet over. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Great. And then you just continue to single crochet along the border. Go ahead and crochet eight up. So starting there at the base, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, and eight. That last one, we're going to put two. So that was one and two. And the next, we're going to put two, one, and two. And then we're going to single crochet down the other side. So that one counted as one, be two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight and we have finished right where we started we need to cut off the yarn give ourselves a little bit because we're going to need to slip stitch these two closed slip stitch this row closed we want to give ourselves some slack find the first stitch Insert our crochet hook in the top, yarn over, 
pull through with a slip stitch, pull through all the way, yarn over again, and this time we're going to pull it all the way through for our knot. Perfect. Go ahead and weave in our ends. Stick your crochet hook into that space. Yarn over, pull through, pull tight just so that way it lays flat. And the other side, just weaving in the end. And last one. Make sure that your last go of weaving in your ends has your ends on the inside of the beanie. That way it's not an eyesore uh, when someone's looking at it from the outside. Leave yourself just a little bit of a tail for gluing down. Grab your glue. When it comes to beanies and anything of such that you're gonna wear, I highly recommend using the fabric glue as that finishing touch because having little yarn ends come out of your project just does not look good at all. Make sure that doesn't happen. So perfect. It's not going anywhere. All right, now let's move on to the next step.